To start using WinOS, the first step is to always create a new project. In this case, we'll be working from an existing tune file, a stock file, and we'll open it up by choosing a file option. This will be a binary file, so we'll choose binary. And in this case, we'll be using an EDC 16 C31 example. Here, the checksum screen will let you know that there are checksums available and applicable to this, and we'll click OK. This will give us information about the software version, the producer, and build. And here we can fill in our information about our client. In this case, I'll just type example client, and we can fill in as much or as little information as you want to in the client information window. Once that's done, WinOLS will automatically start to detect maps down here in the bottom left. And when it's done, it'll give you a potential map list. The first map that we're interested in is the torque limiter by a temperature. That's located at 1B22DA. And if we scroll down here on the left side, we'll see 1B22DA exists right here. Double click that, and it'll open up the map file for you. I like to enlarge it so I can see it entirely. Double click on the file, and now we can go ahead and start to define it. We'll title this torque limiter by a temperature, which is in Newton meters, and needs to be factored by 0.1. For our x-axis, this will be our temperature in degrees centigrade. And it's factored as well by 0.1. On our y-axis, this will be RPM. Its factor is 1.0. Now that we can click OK, we have a proper RPM range on the left, our temperature on the top, and our middle values here, which represent the actual torque. One thing, if you find your temperature readings don't make sense, you may have to put in a negative factoring offset of 273.1. This is common for EDC 16. Now we can see that our ambient temperatures make more sense. Let's exit this map for now. And let's go ahead and add it to our normal map list so we can find it when we're done. And let's find the next limiter. In this case, we're looking for the limiter by atmospheric pressure. And that limiter for atmospheric pressure is located at 1B1A96. We'll double click that file and we'll factor it in the same way. This description is torque limiter by a pressure atmospheric and it's also in Newton meters. We need to be factored by 0.1. Our x axis is our pressure atmospheric and it's in millibar and it's factored by 1.0. Our y-axis, again, is RPM, and it's factored by 1.0 as well. Now we have a proper x-axis of millibar and our y-axis of RPM with our middle values representing our Newton meters.